Hey, good morning, everyone. We hope you guys are doing well this morning. Nice to see you here um, through social media. My name is Kimi. I'm the worship pastor at The Crossing Church here in Costa Mesa. And yeah, it's great to be together this morning. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we're going to sing a song together and just talk about the promises of God. Um, I feel like in this season specifically, we're all feeling a lot of chaos and um, whether it's watching the news or reading what's going on in our world today, or maybe there's just a lot of chaos in your own home. Um, I can totally relate to that. Um, I could even just show you a clip of uh, what it looked like, this space, what this space looked like when I was testing the camera just a little bit ago. So here we go. Yeah, so it's just a little bit crazy here sometimes. Um, right now, there's a little bit of calm just because I locked the pups in the next room, um, even though they're whining a little bit because they want to be outside and <laughs> be out here. And um, my mom is taking care of my daughter right now, but we all need peace in this season and we all just need to feel a little bit of collectedness. Um, and it's hard, it really is. It's hard to feel that even if it's just internally, it's hard to feel that. And so I know that for me, whenever I um, feel a little bit overcome with fear or worry or um, stress, I have to remind myself of the promises of God and I have to remind myself of what he says and um, let those things bring me peace. And so um, a lot of times that comes from scripture and that comes from remembering verses that I've read before and remembering who he says he is in his word. And so right now, even if you have scripture that you turn to, I would love for you to write it in the comments. Tell us the scriptures that you turn to when you're stressed or when, you're fear when you are full of fear so that we all can read those and be like, oh, that's a good one. I'm going to pocket that one for next time. But some of the things that I remember is that God says he will never leave me nor forsake me. He says that his love is so pure and so perfect that it casts out all fear. One of the other ones that I turn to that I love that says um, his peace surpasses all understanding. And that one is so comforting to me because so many times I just want to understand. I just want to figure out. I want to know what should I do or what, what should I be doing in this time. And that helps me to know, just like Nicole said last week in her devotional, that God tells me that my heart should not be troubled because his peace even surpasses all of my understanding. So um, I just want to encourage you with that. And if you yourself um, have scripture that you turn to, please leave it in the comments so that we can all read those and be encouraged by those as well. As we continue on, um, I'm going to sing a song that we can sing together. Um, it was a request that someone made last week. And it's a song about his love that he reminds us that he goes after the one. That means that you and me and each of us individually, he goes after each of us. That, that his word says that he leaves the 99 to go after the one. And to me, that's just so amazing because sometimes you wonder, well, why? Why would you go after me? Like, why? Just why? <laughs> and he says, because that's how good he is. That's how strong his love is, is that he goes after us and he loves us that much. So today, I hope that you feel that. I hope that you know that God loves you that much. That he goes after you. He leaves the 99 to chase after you. So I'm going to pray for us as we sing this and just ask the Lord to give us peace today, to help us to remember his promises. God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for how perfect you are in this time that you keep your promises, that we can look to you in this time. Even when our minds and sometimes even our homes are filled with so much chaos. We can look to you, God. So help us to bring you our worries. Help us to bring you even our doubts. Because none of them are too big for you, God. And even as my baby coughs right now, we just pray, Lord, we pray for health. Uh, we pray that you would bring your healing in this time. We need you, God. We desperately need you. 
And so we come to you today, God. I pray for everyone watching here this morning. I pray for their families. I pray for each individual, Lord. I pray that you would bring healing and comfort today. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's sing. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life. so, so kind to me. And to the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights to
chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the night, denied. I couldn't hurt it, I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Thank you guys for tuning in this morning. Thank you for worshiping with me. And even as I broke a string, uh, it's okay. I feel like um, I could have redone this video, but I'm just gonna choose to keep this one <laughs> because it just is, it's a testament to the chaos that we can worship through, that we can still look to God in. It's a testament to um, the life that we are living in right now. That sometimes things feel broken, but God is still in the business of making beauty from the ashes. So I pray that we can turn to those things we can look to his promises, that we can look to his beauty, and we can see him in the midst of everything. He is good, and he is faithful, guys. So, love you guys. See you soon.